From venomous creatures to toxic gases and violent tribes, some islands are far from paradise. Today we take you on a tour of the top five most dangerous islands on Earth that you should never visit. First on our list is Snake Island, known as Ilha da Queimada Grande, just off the coast of Brazil. This small island is beautiful, but deadly. Snake Island is home to one of the most dangerous snakes on the planet, the Golden Lancehead Viper. With venom so potent it can melt human flesh, and up to one snake per square meter, this island is one of the deadliest places on Earth. The Brazilian government has banned public access to this island for a good reason. It's simply too dangerous for anyone to visit. Only a few researchers equipped with safety gear are allowed here, and even they are at constant risk. Next, we head to the Indian Ocean, where North Sentinel Island, part of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, remains completely isolated. This island is home to the uncontacted Sentinelese tribe who have lived here for thousands of years. Attempts to make contact with the tribe have ended in violence. The Sentinelese are highly protective of their land and resist any outsiders, often with deadly force. In 2018, an American missionary attempted to contact the tribe and was killed. The Indian government has declared the island off-limits to protect both the tribe and those who might foolishly try to visit. During World War II, Gruinard Island was used as a testing ground for one of the most dangerous biological weapons ever, anthrax. In 1942, British scientists tested anthrax bombs here, contaminating the island's soil with deadly spores. While efforts were made to decontaminate the island in the 1980s, the threat remains. Anthrax spores can survive in soil for decades, making Grunard Island a hazardous place even now. Today, no one lives on the island, and it's unlikely anyone ever will. Miyakejima is part of Japan's Izu Islands, but it's far from a tourist destination. The island sits atop an active volcano, Mount Oyama, which erupted several times in the early 2000s. While the eruptions have subsided, the island still leaks toxic gases, particularly sulfur dioxide. Residents and visitors are required to carry gas masks at all times due to the high risk of poisoning. Life on Miyakejima is dangerous and prolonged exposure to these gases can lead to serious health issues. For many, the risk isn't worth it. Risk. Finally, we come to Aramri Island off the coast of Myanmar, a place notorious for one of the deadliest wildlife encounters in history. During World War II, hundreds of Japanese soldiers were stranded in the swamps of Ramri Island. What followed was a nightmare. The soldiers were attacked and devoured by saltwater crocodiles, the largest and most aggressive crocodiles in the world. Today, Ramri Island is still home to these dangerous predators, and the swamps remain a perilous place for any who dare to enter. These islands, while captivating, are full of deadly threats. Whether it's venomous snakes, toxic gases, or man-eating crocodiles, nature has a way of reminding us that some place is unexplored. Would you risk visiting any of, the, any of these islands? Let us know in the comments.